वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड चैप्टर टेन प्लान किंगडम एंड बेस्ड ऑन आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी विल डू द बुक एक्सरसाइज एंड क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लान एंड देर फंक्शंस फ्लावर्स होम डू ट्रीज बिलोंग टू पीपल लिविंग इन फॉरेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स प्लान किंगडम इज वन मेजर किंगडम इन विच द लिविंग बींग्स आर क्लासिफाइड there are a huge number of species of plants which fall under this kingdom they all have same body parts performing same functions like photosynthesis transpiration storing food etc students these plants are very important for the survival of other living beings as well they provide us with fresh oxygen rich air food medicines timber and many other things which are required in our daily life All plants have a basic similar structure. The entire body of a plant can be broadly classified into two main systems. One is the root system and the other one is the shoot system. The part of the plant which grows above the soil is known as shoot system. This comprises of the stem, branches, leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. whereas the parts of the plant that grows below the soil is known as the root system. The main function of root is to absorb water and minerals from the soil which is required for the survival of the plant. Roots can be broadly classified into two main categories: tap roots and fibrous roots. Tap root is one main thick root that grows downward from the end of the stem and it has many small roots branching out of it. For example, radish, carrot, beetroot, etc. Whereas fibrous root is a cluster of many small almost equal sized roots growing from the base of the stem they grow sideways in all directions and are bushy in appearance for example wheat rice maize etc students you must have seen some long rope like roots hanging from the branches of banyan trees these are called as aerial roots they grow downwards to give support to the heavy branches of the trees mangroves are one of the special kind of roots that grow above the soil to breathe in the air in the marshy areas and so they are called as breathing roots let's move on to the functions of roots roots absorb water and minerals from the soil which are required by the plants for photosynthesis students photosynthesis is the process by which green plants prepare their food using carbon dioxide from the air water and sunlight in the presence of a green pigment called chlorophyll which is present in green leaves during this process the oxygen gas is released and the food is prepared which is in the form of carbohydrates these roots also act like anchor and so fix the plant firmly into the soil they also prevent plant from being uprooted some roots also store extra food which is prepared by the plants these roots are eaten by us for example radish carrots beetroot etc students due to famine and droughts there is not enough food for people to eat which may be due to no rainfall or flooding or insect infestation resulting in the destruction of crops in such situations people survive by eating yam tapioca and sweet potatoes and so these plant products are also called as famine foods students plants can be mainly divided into two main categories flowering plants and non flowering plants flowering plants are those plants which bear flowers for example rose jasmine lotus tulip etc all these plants bear flowers whereas non flowering plants are those plants which do not bear flowers for example pine spruce fern algae moss mushroom etc there are mainly three types of flowering plants annual plants biennial plants and perennial plants annual plants are the plants which live only for one season and their flowers also bloom in single season only for example sunflower marigold etc Biennial plants are those plants which live for 2 years 
they produce flowers and seeds in the second year and then they die for example forget me not plant and canterbury bells whereas perennial plants are the plants which live for many years for example chrysanthemum daisy etc students flowers are the most beautiful gift of nature they are found in many different shapes sizes and colors a flower has many different parts the colorful parts of a flower are called as petals whereas the small green leaf like parts at the bottom of a flower is called as sepal stamen is the male reproductive organ of a flower whereas carpel or pistil is the female reproductive organ of a flower students once the flower is pollinated it develops into a fruit that contains seeds pollination is the process by which the pollen grains which are yellowish powdery substance present on the anther are transferred to the stigma of the flower this happens with the help of wind water insects and animals and so they are called as pollinating agents students now let's find out different uses of flowers first there are some flowers which are edible for example cauliflowers and broccoli second the petals of aromatic flowers such as rose and jasmine are used to make soaps oils and perfumes third we use flower petals for making rangoli to decorate our houses fourth flowers are also used for decorating wedding pandal and party venues fifth flowers are used for worshiping sixth we eat gulkand which is made of rose petals and sugar seventh we greet people with bouquet or bunch of flowers on special occasions eighth flowers add to the beauty of the garden path and other landscapes ninth flowers are also used to make gajra tenth floral designs are seen on walls of monuments pottery crockery bed sheets carpets etc students the study of plants is called as botany and the people who study botany are called as botanist also as we are studying about flowers so you must know that a florist is the person who sells all kind of flowers be it locally grown or imported ones a florist knows the art of arranging flowers in beautiful bouquets bunches garlands or wreath the cost of flowers varies depending on the season and availability of these flowers students presenting flowers to someone is a perfect way to express your feeling but one must consider the meaning of the flowers before presenting it to others as each flower and even the number of flowers gives a special message to the receiver students trees are grown everywhere there are some trees which are grown by people on their own land these trees are their private property they either take care of these trees by themselves or they hire a gardener for the same the trees which are planted on the road side are public property and so we all must take care of these trees and not allow any one to cut them there are some trees and bushes which are planted along the roads by the municipal corporation these plants are watered by water tankers arranged by the municipality trees in the forests are taken care by the forest department the trees on the highways are numbered and are not allowed to be cut nobody waters these trees they depend on nature for water students people who live in forests are called as tribals or adivasis they live a very simple life and fulfill all their necessities from the forest only they eat fruits roots flowers of plants and trees grown in forests they can easily identify harmful herbs shrubs and fruits these forests provide a spiritual and cultural home to tribals but unfortunately due to the expansion in the agricultural land or for the construction of buildings these forests are being destroyed which has resulted in the disturbance in the lives of these tribals so students in this way the explanation of this chapter is done before we move on to the book exercises i request all my students to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you keep getting the notifications of the upcoming tutorials thank you students let's start with our book exercises question number 1 tick the correct option now here for each question there are four options being given we have to tick the correct option question number 
Banyan tree has the following types of roots: fibrous roots, aerial roots, breathing roots, or tap roots. So here we will take option number B, aerial roots. Second, it is an edible root: carrot, radish, beetroot, all of these. So here we will take option number D, all of these: carrots, radish, and beetroot. These all can be eaten. Part three. They grow in marshy areas. Mango tree, banyan tree, mangroves, none of these. So here we will take option number C, mangroves. Part 4. This flower is used to make perfumes. Rose, lotus, broccoli, sunflower. So here we will take option number A, rose. Due to its sweet smell, the rose flower is used for making perfumes. Part 5. It is a famine food. cabbage yam orchid marigold so here we will take option number b yam let's move on to question number 2 give two examples of each of the following first flowers we eat so here we have to write two examples of flowers which are eaten by us so here i have written cauliflower and broccoli second sweet smelling flowers rose and jasmine third non flowering plants So here I have written fern, mushroom. You can write the names of other non-flowering plants as well. Fourth, famine food, yam, tapioca. Fifth, things made from sweet-smelling flowers. So it is soap and perfume, which are made from sweet-smelling flowers. Question number three: Write one function of each of the following. First part: breathing roots. Here we'll write: They grow above the soil. to breathe in the air in the marshy areas so these are breathing roots second is aerial roots they grow downwards to give support to the heavy branches third florist a florist is a person who sells flowers fourth famine foods so here we will write during famine and droughts people survive by eating yam tapioca and sweet potatoes and so these food items are called as famine foods Let's move on to question number 4. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Why are roots important for a plant? Answer. Roots are important for a plant as they perform following functions. A. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil which are required by the plants to carry out the process of photosynthesis. B. They fix the plant firmly in the soil and prevent it from being uprooted. C. some roots store food as well for example radish carrot turnip and beetroot question number 2 who is a florist answer a florist is a person who sells all types of flowers be it locally grown or imported ones a florist knows the art of arranging flowers in beautiful bouquets bunches garlands or wreaths question number 3 Why should we choose flowers carefully while gifting? Answer: Presenting flowers to someone is a perfect way to express our feelings. But we must consider the meaning of flowers before presenting it to others, as each flower and even the number of flowers carry a special message to the receiver. So we should choose flowers carefully while gifting. Question number four: Who are Adivasi people? Describe their lifestyle. Answer Adivasis or tribals are the people who live in the forest. They eat fruits, roots and flowers of the plants and trees grown in the forest. They have a great knowledge of trees and their uses. They live a very simple life and fulfill all their necessities from the forest. Question number 5 Who looks after the plants on the roadside? Answer The municipal corporation looks after the trees and bushes planted along the roadside they are watered by water tankers arranged by the municipality next is hots plants and trees are essential for sustaining life on earth however for the growth of a country it is necessary to build more cities do you think cutting down of trees is justified what would be the impact of cutting down trees on our environment answer Cutting down trees can have a serious impact on our environment. It may result in the following consequences. First, soil erosion. Second, less rainfall. Third, more polluted air. 
Fourth, disturbing the natural habitat of many animals. Fifth, global warming, etc. So students, in this way, the explanation and the book work of this chapter is done. Hope you learned something new in today's class. Do give a thumbs up and don't forget to share this tutorial with your classmates. Let's meet in the next video. Until then, stay happy and keep learning.